So comparing um, potential molecular compounds, we know that O2 is the favored form of oxygen rather than O8, but why? All right, we're going to have a look at the uh, the two structures here, see O2 and O8. All right, both, if I had four moles of O2, um, I would have the same number of oxygen atoms as O8. So I'm going to use bond enthalpies to show that O2 is more favorable. All right, so the bond association enthalpy uh, or bond enthalpy of the OO double bond is 498 kilojoules per mole, while the oxygen, oxygen single bond enthalpy is 146 kilojoules per mole. So this is either energy required to break the bond or energy released when it's formed. All right, we're going to use the uh, form of Hess's law shown there, which is for bond enthalpies, bonds broken uh, minus bonds formed. So the enthalpy of the reaction, four times the uh, bond enthalpy for the oxygen-oxygen double bond minus eight times the bond enthalpy for uh, the oxygen-oxygen single bond, all right, which I would get by drawing those Lewis structures and uh, and counting the number of bonds. All right, so handling the uh, subtraction here, this would be 824 kilojoules. Now this means delta H is positive. All right, and what that means is that this is endothermic therefore as written is an unfavorable process you should try it again with the examples for sulfur and phosphorus from the notes in class today